the origins of these petroglyphs, like, was the knowledge of them or their meaning, is that yeah. still, yeah, has the it been, knowledge of their existence it's been there. passed on? Yeah, but if there was to be anybody that would try to come up here on their own way back in the day, like someone from like Europe or anything, well, they'd be kissing their life goodbye if they tried to come here. Oh yeah? They would be killed even if they tried to make it as far as South Gaspar. Wow, that's a big rock. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Must have been a lot of work to get to actually carve those uh, things in there with just using the same rock that it's made of, right? Ooh, don't grab that. That's a, that's Devil's Club, and usually it's so sharp it'll poke right into you. And uh, Devil's Club. Yeah. Here. <laughs> Gee, it's like <laughs> playing musical feet instead of musical feet. Yeah. Where'd he go? <laughs> See, this one's done in eighteen late 1890s. 1890s. Yeah, because that's when it's Europeans traded um, steel for valuables of the Nicolk nations. The one that took lifetimes and lifetimes are these ones. You know how um, the raven's known to be a trickster? Yeah. Well, look at this. Yeah, that's the raven's head. Ravens are a symbol of power. Okay. Same with frog and all that, but the raven, the only difference is the raven knows how to be a trickster. They fly pretty high above me, but still directly over me. And this place is a, is a cold climate rainforest. You guys will probably laugh, but Look, we call them star people and they've been on a lot of other petroglyphs and petrograss and stone carvings. Star people? Yep. That's what we call aliens. Like aliens? Our, my people have seen them, like the cultures have seen them before and all that, but they don't look that much different to us. Just the skin's more paler, the, the eyebrows are black, the eyes are black. But right there's the head. Wow. The two eyes. That's right really there cool. There would have been the nose and the mouth. Right here would be three fingers. Well, that's like birth, life, death. They would be like that. Does that do they say then that the aliens only have three fingers? It's just a just carving a drawing. and all that. Like, so you won't want to do five because that would be too hard. Yeah. <laughs> they wanted to do it quick. I don't know if you guys want to take a chance walking across that bridge. You could try it. I'm freaked out about the bridge. Oh, it's rotting. That's pure glacial water. You'd be like, the body be paralyzed within 10 minutes of being in that water. Seriously. And those are uh, skunk cabbages there, right? Bear's favorite food. He oh. said the skunk cabbage are the bear's favorite food, aside from people. See, you now that one's the oldest one, and that one's from uh, New Zealand. Like, you know, when the Samoans do the haka, their tongue out and go across. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. So is that like his tongue down there below? Yeah. So how do you figure the, the two cultures got mixed like that? I mean, they must have traveled, you think, uh, from here to there? No, they were living here before. There was a moving island, and all of them hopped on the moving island, and that's where New Zealand is today. Oh. Yeah, so they're originally Canadians. And then right here's a mountain goat. There's the horns right there. So they would see eagles just go up, and so it goes down. You know how fast they could go downhill, down inertia? No. 200 mph background now. What kind of interaction do you suppose they had with the bears back then? I guess, like you said, uh, Ooh, res way, mutual respect. You mean way back when? Yeah, I mean, there's many. Even before, before even the culture started living in Bella Coola here, yeah. this place was known to be a death valley. And the death valley meant that the grizzly bears would kill any human that would come around here. You couldn't even make it. If you go down the mountain, you couldn't make it without getting eaten by a bear. Yeah, because they run at 60 miles per hour, and they can push over, I bet you anything, around 3500 or semi. Mosquitoes here are the biggest I've ever seen. If you guys go up the hill again, don't go there. You'll get swarmed by thousands <laughs> of them. It's like you'd inhale a mouthful if you tried to inhale a breath. And they would paint them too. But it'd be natural, like the berries. And I don't want to explain some of it, how they made the berries, because uh, it's pretty sick. Oh, what'd they do? Berries and can... urine. Oh, <laughs> When the sun would shine on there at a perfect time, that's how they knew their surroundings around here. Like a sundial compass. And right here's an echo. Echo, you mean the voice? The voice on the echoes and all that. And in the culture, it's uh, supernatural. You know how we're 3D? 
third dimension. Yeah. The AB6 dimension. I see. People don't believe what they don't know about the real life that's in the woods that can move faster than you can even see. People around here in the culture have been chased by them. Supernatural. What's their call sound like? For a Sasquatch, it sounds like a woman screaming her head off, a baby crying, cat and meowing, and a dog howling. So is a Sasquatch considered one of these, uh, like, sixth dimension? They won't show themselves at all to anybody. Like, you know how secret societies are? Yeah. Well, they're about, like, 20, 30 times more secret. So you actually drink this? Yeah, I used to lay down right there and then drink some right there. We best be heading back before it gets too... Too dark and all the bugs come out? Oh, no, the, the bugs won't come out for a while yet, but still. What's going to happen then? You would do a uh, tobacco offering, right? I, li I don't leave it in the bundle because then people can grab it and smoke it. So you sprinkle it in the stream and stuff? Oh yeah, they won't get down there. There is um, reptiles around here, and they're how big? How big are they? They can range to be uh, seven to I believe around thirty feet long. What? But those things aren't like that. Like that. My camera for a sec, man. Yep. Me and my brother used to be real psycho. <laughs> I used to climb, you know, my brothers used to climb up that. Climbed up, up this hill. Up this part, yeah. I would come up here just to, just to sit on top of that rock, like to see. Wow. Well, you jump around here like a cat, man. And what was your name? Nels. Niles? Nels. Nels. Yeah. What's your last name? Harstad. Nels Harstad.